In this video, I'll be using Excel 2010 to get a p-value with a hypothesis test. I've got the hypothesis test here. Mu is less than or equal to 2160 and mu is greater than 2160. Our sample data, sample size of 9, sample mean of 2172, sample standard deviation 9.382, and a t-stat from all of this that equals 3.837. Okay, this mu, by the way, this, this mu here is the same as this mu, our hypothesized mu, or hypothesized mean. Okay, plug all that stuff in, and you get 3.837. Now, what you are doing when you're finding a p-value is you're saying, okay, take this t-stat, and then that t-stat tells you how far you are away from the center of the t-distribution. So this t-stat of way out here of... 3.837 right there that's our t-stat and we are looking at this p-value right here so how far away from the middle are we by the way you could do this with just the sample mean and uh, the standard deviation and, and the mean but but we're going to use the t-stat for this to really drive home some of the other uh, things that you're learning in statistics Okay, so this is the p-value. This area is the p-value. Now, how do you find that in Excel 2010? Well, the commands are just a little bit different than, than in the older Excel. Uh, you can use this equals t dot dist. Now, notice right here, we have dot dist two tail and dot dist right tail. Now, this is a right tail test because uh, mu is greater than 2160. So this is what Excel 2010 has done for us. They've parsed it out so we don't have to do the one minus business if you're doing left or, or right tail. Um, you just say, oh, this is a right tail test. It's kind of <laughs> having us think less, but th that, that's okay. Okay, a T distribution, right tail, we're telling it that it is a right tail. It says X, but we are going to uh, just plug in our, our T stat. So that is 3.837. Our degrees of freedom. Our degrees of freedom here is going to be 8 because it's our, our sample size. Sample size. And then minus 1. So that's 8 is our degrees of freedom. And we get a p-value of 0 0.002. So in this example, our p-value equals 0 0.002 and so you would reject the null and go on with that now real quickly just to talk a little bit about the differences between excel 2010 and the older version well if you had if you were doing a left test left tailed test so h sub 1 and that is mu is less than 2160 uh, and and you got some some sample mean that was was lower than this. So this was uh, this was 12 more. So let's go 12 less than that. That would be 12 less than 2,160 would be 2,148. All right, and the same standard deviation. Let's say that. Well, then you would get a t stat of negative negative 3.837. So then you're your p-value would be over here. Now, uh, Excel 2010, well, it lets you do that. You just type in equals t dot dist, t dot dist, and then it's going to make you put in the cumulative here, but we're going to put in this negative 3.837. Our degrees of freedom again are 8, and cumulative we say true. It's always going to be true with these distributions. We get the same p-value, and we should because I made it work out so that we are just, a far, just as far away from, from, the, uh, from the middle here. So we should get that same p-value on the left-hand side. Okay, what if, what if it were a two-tailed test? Two-tailed. So what if we're saying h sub 1, and, and that is mu is not equal to. 2160. Okay, same mean, all this stuff, and standard deviation. We get this T of 3.837. Let's say we're going off of 
off of this data this time. Now it's going to be a two-tailed test because you have two tails. It's either equal to or not equal to. So we're going here and we're going here. So the p-value is going to be the sum of those two. Well, guess what? You could just double these or Excel has it in there for you. You're not going to have to think too much. So equals t dot dist. That's try that again. Dist dot two tailed two t. And now plug this in. We've got our three point eight three seven degrees of freedom are still going to be eight. And just like magic, we get that double, exactly what I predicted, or what <laughs> you predict, predicted that as well, I'm sure. Uh, the two tails, it's just the sum of those two tails. I hope that helps for Excel 2010.